Uh, okay, so I'm Karen Mikovic uh, from Warsaw University of Technology. Uh, I just finished my PhD devoted to magnetic based alloys, but today I will try to show you some preliminary research on titanium, on nanostructured titanium. Uh, yeah, so uh, commercially pure titanium grade 2 uh, is widely used in biomedical health field. Uh, however, its mechanical properties turns out to be too low also for some low brigade navigations such as narrow dental implants, which are still made of uh, different grades of titanium, grade 4 or 5, which contains uh, much more alloying additions, which uh, affects uh, their biological response. Uh, so one way to improve their mechanical properties is its grain size refinement down to nanometric size so, and dissipation strengthening by large plastic deformation methods such as ECAP, HPD, uh, hyperextrusion or even such simple methods called rolling. Um, called rolling. Yeah. Uh, it can be further, uh, they can be further improved by uh, the so-called hardening by annealing effect. Uh, so, it has been discovered many years ago, uh, actually, uh, by Russian team, uh, by Pavia, and uh, it is possible to further increase the earth strength and ductility uh, by short time on the leak of such non-structured titanium at relatively low temperatures. Um, but uh, this effect was discovered almost 20 years ago, but uh, there are still the exact explanation of uh, this phenomena and the nature of this phenomena. So, uh, in this project we are trying to explain and to uh, uh, use uh, different theories uh, in the literature to, to solve this problem. Uh, one of the possible explanations is the changes in the green button structure that is uh, uh, after annealing, uh, there are more uh, grain boundaries are more uh, in a more equilibrium state, and so the stresses required to emission new generations from them are higher, and that causes uh, the strengthening of material. Another important explanation could be the real the reorientation of crystallographic texture. Um, if we increase uh, those two texture components. Uh, the Schmidt factors for dislocation slip in those systems are lower, and then we also increase the strength. Another thing is also the segregation of impurity atoms, but today I will focus only on those uh, two aspects and their comparison. Uh, so, um, at first, we uh, produced uh, nanostructured titanium by multipass controlling to the thickness reduction of 90. Percent. Then we deformed it more severely to 95 and 97 percent to increase gradually the dislocation density and texture intensity. Uh, we performed also warm rolling at 400 degrees. Uh, at such uh, high temperature, it is possible to uh, activate uh, basal slip in titanium, and uh, uh, it will probably cause uh, uh, the strengthening of basal texture component. Uh, at such temperature uh, it should, uh, the nanostructure should be uh, still retained. Uh, yeah, so um, by such processing we obtain four different, let's say, slightly different uh, microstructures. Uh, when we uh, increase the total thickness reduction at, uh, by rolling at room temperature we slightly decrease the grain size and increase the dissipation density. Uh, after war rolling, we obtained uh, steel nanostructure and uh, still a relatively high dislocation density. Yeah. Uh, when we uh, think about the texture, um, they look uh, similar in general. Uh, we got uh, basal pores split into the transverse direction. It is a result of uh, the Domination of prismatic slip in titanium at room temperature, uh, but uh, when we increase the, um, the thickness reduction, we increase the texture intensity and the volume fraction of basal component. 
uh, and by rolling at uh, 400 degrees uh, it was uh, possible to obtain the highest texture intensity and the highest basal texture uh, as we plan to do so. Uh, so, so, so far we, uh, we obtained uh, everything what we uh, what is supposed to be. Um, then we performed annealing at uh, 250 Celsius degrees and uh, we uh, discovered the peak hardness after, after 15 minutes of annealing for all um, cold rolled samples. Uh, but uh, when the uh, warm rolled sample was uh, continuously softened. Uh, this uh, strengthening effect was uh, decreasing for high thickness reductions, surprisingly. Uh, so to investigate this phenomenon more deeply, we uh, ah, okay. Um, we also uh, performed some unique shutdown tests. The tendencies were the same. Uh, so in the S of state, we got uh, the increasing chaos train with increased accumulated strain. And after annealing, we got uh, some uh, higher uh, yield strength. Uh, and uh, the differences uh, in hardness and uh, yield strength were, let's say, uh, proportional. Uh, what we discovered more was the reduced strength hardening capacity. Uh, we uh, got uh, increased yield strength but decreased ultimate tensile strength. Uh, to uh, yeah, to investigate it more deeply, we compared the textures of s rod and onion samples, uh, but as we can see, there are no uh, significant differences. Uh, the intensities uh, are the same. Uh, split uh, basal splits are uh, are split in the same way. Uh, so we focus on the microstructure. Uh, with uh, mainly. We've got changes in the desiccation density, so it's uh, as we should as it should be. We uh, reduce the desiccation density uh, when we uh, when we look on the TEM images. We can see still uh, a relatively high desiccation density by, uh, but uh, let's say uh, green boundaries are less uh, are more visible uh, so it, uh, they should be in the more equilibrium state uh, as I said at the link it's uh, it's just a uh, just uh, some preliminary results so we plan to analyze the green boundary structure which should be the main decisive uh, factor in this case uh, so uh, based on the research that we've made so far we can we were able to uh, obtain four different types of nanostructures structures in Titan M grade 2 uh, and uh, different uh, with different uh, strengthening capacity and uh, strengthening effects by this uh, low temperature annealing and uh, at this point we can just say that uh, crystallographic texture does does not change and it uh, does not have any special effect in this uh, raw titanium and uh, we should focus on the arrangement of this location with green under structure. Yeah, so I would like just at the end to thank the National Science Center in Poland for, for the funds from the recent grant and also the organizers for the opportunity to show results today. Uh, thank you. Not for now. Thank you again. Thank you. So thank you all for resisting at the at the end. <laughs>